Hello, my mathematicians. Today we are looking at Module 5, Lesson 6, which is all about finding the volume of composed figures. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to find the volume of a, of a figure composed of right rectangular prisms. So we're going to start with the step it out. It says Braden builds a frame in the shape shown. He plans to pour concrete into his frame. So A says write the unknown dimensions of the composed figure. Describe how you found your answers. So if we're looking at this, and we look across here. So the first missing value is this right here. Well, we know this whole length here is five, but we're missing the one and the one. So we would do five minus one, which is four, and then we would subtract one again, which is three. So this length here is going to be three feet. So we can start by saying we found three feet by subtracting five minus one minus one. Then here we're looking for the height of this area here. We know that the whole height is two, then we know that this height is one. So we're going to do two minus one, which is not three. I don't know why I wrote three. Two minus one is one. So we're going to have one foot. And we're going to put we found one foot by subtracting two minus one. I'm going to erase these lines to make the next step a little bit easier. Okay, it says, draw a line to show how you can break apart Braden's frame into two right rectangular prisms and then find the volume of each prism. Describe your answer. So we only want two right rectangular prisms, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to just break it across right here. So, and I'm going to call the top, um, the right rectangular prism one, and the bottom right rectangular prism two. So, if we look, we have sphere one, so prism one, we have a length of three feet. So length equals three feet. We have, so that'd be the length. We have the width here. The width is all the same all the way across. So we're gonna have the width equaling two feet and the height equals one foot. Prism two, the length is given as five foot, five feet. The width, because it's all the same as two feet, and the height is one foot. So now we just have to multiply these out. So if they're this first one, three times three times two times one is going to be a volume of six feet cubed. So we have six feet cubed volume equals. And then for the second one, we have five times two times one. So our volume is going to equal 10 feet cubed. So then it says, what is the amount of concrete that Braden needs? Describe how you found your answer. 
Well, if this is the top part, and if this is the top part, and this is the bottom part, that means we need to add them together to find the total. So we add it. The volume. of the top and the volume of the bottom. Six plus 10 equals 16 feet cubed. And that's it for that page, so we're gonna go to the next page. So it says, Tori wants to use the design shown to build steps from solid blocks of wood. Find the amount of wood she needs to build the steps. So let's draw a line to show how you can break apart Tori's design into two right, right rectangular prisms and then find the length, the width, and the height of each rectangular prism shown. So there are multiple different ways I could break this part, but I'm going to choose to break this one apart right here. So again, we're going to have one and then two. So our dimensions, our length, so if we go prism one, our length equals, well, our length across here is eight and the whole thing is 16 so 16 minus 8 equals 8 so we have 8 inches our width is the same all the way across so our width is 8 inches and then our height is given right here and it is 4 inches prism 2 we know our length is eight inches. Our width is eight inches. And our height is eight inches. So this is what is the volume of each of your rectangular prisms? Well, for prism one, we would have eight times eight times four. 8 times 8 is 64 times 4, so 64 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, 24, 25, so 256. So we have prism 1 is 256 inches cubed. And then the other one would be 8 times 8 times 8, so then 8 times 8 is 64. We're doing times 8, 64 times 8, it's going to be 32, and then 51. So we have 512. So prism 2 is 512 inches cubed. So this is write an equation to model the amount of wood that Tori needs to build the steps. So we would be adding the two together. So 256 plus 512, and it's an equation, so we want the answer. So we're going to have 256 plus 512. Six, um, plus two is eight. Five plus one is six. Two plus five is seven. So it equals 700. 68. So then it says, what is the amount of wood that Tori needs to build the steps? Well, that'd be 768 inches cubed. It says, describe how you can check your answer using unit cubes. Well, we can take the cubes and pack it with 768 one-inch cubes. And 
and that would show us that that was the answer. So we can pack the composed figure. with 768 one inch cubes since each cube has a volume of one cubic inch the volume of the composed figure is seven hundred Sixty-eight cubic inches. And then we go to the next, the last page. So it says, consider the space sh shown above Tori's bottom step. Write the dimensions of the space above the bottom step and then find the volume of the space. So if we look here, this section right here, because again we have a total, of, this would be a total of 16, 8 minus, or 16 minus 8 is going to be 8 inches. We said that the width is the same all the way across, so this is also going to be 8 inches. And then the height of the whole thing is eight inches, but this part is four, so eight minus four is four inches. So to find the volume, we would multiply that. So eight times eight times four, so 64 times four. As we said on the other page, that would be 256 inches cubed. So this is another way of finding the volume. We're finding the volume in the same shape, so we should get the same answer. We are just trying to another way of getting it. So then it says, if the space and the steps are combined, they form a right rectangular prism. What are the dimensions of the prism and what is the volume? So that means we want to find the volume like we're pretending that this is all filled in. We want to the volume. So the dimensions would be the length would equal 16, the width would equal 8, and the height would equal 8. So that means we would do 16 times 8 times 8. So start with 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8 plus the 4 is 12. So we'd have 128 times 8, and multiply by 8, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6, it's going to be 22, and then 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, so we have a volume of 1,024 inches cubed. Then it says, what is the volume when you subtract the volume of the space of the, from the volume of the prism? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be subtracting these two numbers. So we're going to do 1024 minus 256. So 4 minus 6 we can do, so the 2 becomes the 1. Then we do 14 minus 6 is 8. We can't do 1 minus 5, so we have to come over here. That becomes 0. This becomes a 10. Then a 9, so we have 11. 11 minus 5 is 6, and 
9 minus 2 is 7. So we have 768 inches cubed. And this is the amount of wood needed to make the steps. I hope that this has helped you learn and be able to find the volume of a figure composed of a right rectangular prisms. Remember, in order to be a math person, all you need to do is be a person and do math.